But let's start. We'll, we'll start with the fact that today is Columbus Day. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I, I misspoke. It's very politically incorrect of me. It's, it's very insensitive of me. Again, somebody, I'm not sure who I'm supposed to be. It's actually, as Kamala Harris, as Kamala Harris was very quick to, to point out today in a speech she gave, today is Indigenous Peoples Day. Today, we celebrate Indigenous people. And this is the day in which we are all supposed to curse the day that European explorers found uh, the Americas and, um, and uh, established, uh, you know, a, a colonial, white, supremacist, um, uh, horrific, slave-owning societies in the Western Hemisphere. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Columbus Day. Uh, Columbus is a hero. Uh, Columbus was a, 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 an incredibly, a, a incredibly courageous, set out not knowing what he's going to find on the other side, not knowing if he would find the other side, not knowing how vast the ocean was. He had some ideas, turned out to be wrong. He thought the earth was much smaller than it was, and he thought when he arrived in Hispaniola, which is not far from where I am, in the Dominican Republic, he thought he had discovered he had uh, arrived in India, uh, but, uh, you know, the, the globe could have been even bigger. And uh, that would have, uh, you know, made it almost impossible for him, for him to cross the, uh, the Atlantic Ocean. And um, uh, so he, here's, a, here's an explorer who took on unbelievable amounts of risk um, <clears throat> to discover what he discovered. Yeah, incredibly intelligent. Um, incredibly observant, uh, managed to navigate the winds or figure out how the winds worked across the Atlantic. Not an easy feat at all. Um, the trade winds coming from Africa to the Caribbean and then and then back and, and, and figure all this out. Managed to navigate at a time when navigation was very, very uh, uh, difficult. Uh, managed not just to discover kind of the, the Caribbeans, but also... Uh, to navigate the Caribbean Sea and, and uh, navigate all the way down to uh, Venezuela, towards Brazil. Um, figured out that it was one landmass from Brazil up into kind of Mexico. Uh, you know, one of the great explorers in human history, uh, one of, the, uh, one of a, a great, unbelievably courageous soul, a, a, an amazing leader. You cannot cross the Atlantic on a dinky little boat with sails and primitive navigation uh, without incredible leadership skills in which you um, motivate and inspire your crew to, to be able to, to make the crossing. You know, Columbus was stranded for a year on Jamaica, um, and, and he was not liked by many of the other Spanish explorers, so there was a lot of competition, and a lot of resentment, and a lot of envy uh, among the different explorers. But uh, anyway, he was a giant. A giant of a man. And I know, I, you know, and I'm going to say something very um, politically incorrect, but basically at the end of the day when everything is evaluated and so on, one has to say a broad civilization to expand its civilization beyond the realm of uh, now Europe. Now Europe at that point, 1492, was barely civilized. I mean, let's be really clear here. This is the very beginning of the, of the uh, Renaissance. It's not an accident that the Renaissance and the Age of Discovery are going hand in hand for a variety of historical reasons. This is the time, um, and, and uh, the Europeans are becoming explorers, the Portuguese, the Spaniards, they're discovering southern routes uh, uh, you know, around Africa, towards Asia, they're starting to trade with the Asians. Um, uh, through uh, through the oceans, not through the Arabs and the Silk Road. Uh, this is a time of real expansion, a, a time of dramatic kind of geopolitical change. Uh, but it, it's a time you cannot separate kind of exploration from Renaissance. You cannot ex uh, separate exploration from enlightenment. Uh, you know, a big part of the, the questioning that starts going on in the Western mind and some of the questioning of religion that goes on in the Western mind is the discovery of peoples that the Bible doesn't write about and that the ancient didn't write about. So 
Part of what's happening during the scholastic period and during the pre-Renaissance, pre-Enlightenment period is that most people in the West view the Greeks as authorities. Whatever Aristotle wrote is true. It's almost like the word of God. And, and yet the ancients, the Greeks, the Romans didn't write about a, a land on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. They didn't write about those peoples. They didn't write about those cultures. And yet there were people here and, who didn't believe in the same God. And it, it, it opened up, it opened up the, the mind the, the, to the possibilities of what was, what was possible in the world. It opened up, you know, ex exploration, but it opened up exploration in multiple dimensions in terms of thinking outside of just a narrow perspective that was uh, Europe. So uh, the age of exploration is crucial in the development of Western civilization. But it wasn't that civilized at the time, and this is what one has to remember. The discovery of the Americans happened at the time that, that the Europeans are not that civilized. They are, to some extent or another, religious barbarians. They have more advanced technology than the locals for the most part, but they still don't have advanced technologies. They're still, for example, in that period behind the Ottoman Empire in many respects and behind probably the Chinese at that point. But they are laying the foundations for the Western civilization to arrive, to get established, to get anchored, and ultimately to flourish in the Americas. And that is to be celebrated. Now, not everything Columbus did was good, like many of his uh, peers, like almost everybody in that period. Um, he was convinced that Christianity was the path to salvation and everybody needed to become a Christian. And, when, when uh, meeting the, um, the natives who are not Christian, part of the atrocities and part of the bad stuff Columbus and other Portuguese and, and Spanish explorers uh, did was try to convert them to Christianity all in the name of Christianity, imposing Christianity on them by the sword. Uh, so most of the evils committed by Europeans in the Americas towards the natives were committed not in the name of Western civilization, not in the name of... Uh, values that we would consider Western, but in the name of Christianity, in the name of religion, in the name of imposing Christianity on the natives or treating the natives as barbarians, primarily because of their lack of Christianity, right? At a time where, again, there was a gap, clearly a gap between the natives and, or at least some of the natives, and, and the uh, European explorers, but it was nowhere near as big as it becomes later on when you really develops an advanced civilization. So um, Columbus Day is definitely a day worth celebrating, both because of what Columbus represents, the exploring spirit, the courage, the curiosity, the boldness of getting on a dinky little boat and sailing into the horizon without knowing what was on the other side, no satellites, no navigation, no GPS, no iPhones, no communication, no supply chains, just the open sea and your ability to, to wing it, to, to figure out how to survive and your confidence that you will be able to. And we should celebrate that. We should do, this is a day to celebrate the age of discovery, not now. This is how Kamala Harris put it, quote, uh, this is a day to recognize that European explorers, and I'm quoting Kamala, European explorers ushered in a wave of devastation, violence, stealing land, and widespread disease. Now, I'll note that uh, uh, native populations in the Americas were not particularly peace-loving. They were pretty violent. They uh, stole land from one another on a regular basis. Um, and uh, that uh, they had brought about devastation. And, that, and the fact is, there wasn't that much to devastate, although, you know, maybe some of the, uh, some of the uh, Inca or whatever uh, civilizations, Central America, Southern American civilizations, were, uh, had something, but they were also engaged in human sacrifice and a lot of really nasty stuff. Um, the Europeans did bring widespread diseases, but God, we're going to morally blame him for that? that? That would be kind of bizarre. Um, so we should be celebrating the age of exploration. We should have celebrating the discovery of the Americas. 
We should have be celebrating the bringing of civilization to America without whitewashing it, without pretending that there weren't horrific things done to people, uh, often in the name of Christianity, other times in the name of other you know, uh, uh, phenomena, racism, other things that, that are nasty and horrible and should be condemned. Um, but uh, certainly uh, we, we, should, we should face all of those uh, and, and recognize the, the good and the evil involved on it, and yet recognize that this was part of advancing, part of progress, part of moving forward was exploring, discovering, and, and you cannot have, cannot have an advanced civilization that is not interested in, is not curious about other worlds, other places, and wants to push the frontier of knowledge, uh, push the frontier of, of, of human explo ex uh, exploitation of nature, of the world out there. And we should definitely celebrate that.